Hi, my name is Alexis Ren and this is my trip to Tahiti 2019. <laughs> Guys, I need to show you something. The reef has always been here for my family and me, giving us everything we need. But things have changed. The reef is dying. And this is not only happening here on my island, but everywhere in the world. The colors I used to see swimming when I was a kid are now all gone. I start realizing that we are the ones causing this, but we could be the ones changing everything. Coral reefs, they, they are ecosystem, and uh, they, they were made by corals, these tiny animals, they built the reef millimeters by millimeters, and they are so important. Like, so important. Yeah, they, they, they represent less than 1% of all the ocean surface, However, they are a home for one quarter of whole marine life. How crazy is that? Yeah, it's cool. And so, that's our food. It's, that's yeah. our... The reef is feeding this, us. It's everything. That's Nemo's home? Yeah, they are home for a lot of uh, marine life, like uh, crabs, fish, and even the sharks. They don't live sometimes in the reef cave, but the tunas and the sharks, they need the reef to, to survive. And yeah. the same for us, like there is five hundred million people in this world they live thanks to the ecosystem and the service is linked to the coral reef yeah. it's crazy because like I I used to just be scared of the coral, coral reef I didn't think anything of it other than don't fall on it when you surf yeah um, well, and yeah, then once I started cuts, diving so. yeah once I started diving deeper into just the environmental work that we need to do in order to protect this planet sure I had no idea yeah, how important the coral reef is. I yeah. have such a new no, Nobody is talking, not a lot of people are talking about the, this ecosystem because... No one is. Yeah. Like this should be on the news. For like, sure, for sure. Like right now, what's happening with our coral reef around the world at the Great Barrier Reef in the Indonesia or in Tahiti, it's mental. And you see the, the reef is dying due to the global warming, like the rising temperatures of the water. The corals, they are stressed and they, yeah. they bleach and then they, they, they don't have a lot of energy to survive, so they can die. And that's what is happening right now when we are talking in this island, Mo'orea, all around the planet, and it, it's going so fast. This is my first day doing the coral reef restoration with the team. We had an amazing meeting this morning. We got our supplies, and now we're heading on on the boat. So let's go! This is my first time planting the coral reef and restoring it. Um, what is the process of replanting it and bringing it back to life? Sure, yeah. So with technology nowadays, we can bring new life to the reef by planting corals. Basically, it's like trees. You collect broken pieces of corals. You will put them on nurseries during a couple weeks, couple months. And then when they are ready, you will show some damaged areas of the reef and plant your corals. And as you are planting corals, you are creating new habitats for the marine life. And it's so cool to come back months later, years later, and see that your coral you plant is growing. It's become a home Exactly. As well. yeah. That's yeah. amazing. The, How long is the process usually? So, to give you an example, the first coral I, I plant was uh, when I was 16 years old, so five years ago. It was maybe this size. Uh -huh. And I came back after five years, and now it's like this. You have little wow. orange, red, red crabs in it, little uh, striped black and white fish and yeah that's what stimulates us to do more yeah. and why is it so important for us to restore the coral reef like if we lose the reef we, we lose a lot of uh, balance in our oceans and coral reef they are so important they protect our island they give us the fish like the food we eat yeah. they are a home for 20 percent of all the biodiversity and uh, yeah and half of the oxygen we breathe basically comes from the ocean yeah. no reef no ocean no air so we need to care we need to breathe yeah 
That's amazing, that's amazing. And what should I expect going into it for the first time? So yeah, it, it will be your first time planting corals with, yeah. with us. So I will explain you about the process and we're gonna collect your favorite corals and plant them back onto damage reef with the drill and the team. And uh, no, I think it, it's, it's a great feeling because in, in this time, like we, we won't change, we want to do things, to act, but yeah. the fact of planting your corals, you're act actually doing something and you can see it growing, so yeah. it's giving a lot of hope, yeah. Yeah, you're doing the actual action as opposed to just doing the talk. For so sure. We're doing the action. Yeah, let's oh. do it. Describe me uh, when you plant your first coral. Oh my gosh. For your mom. I was really excited. I knew I was going to dedicate it to her because anything that I do that has impact, I always think of her because she was the person that impacted me most in my life. Yeah, sure. So, I, I mean, clearly I wanted to pink. I wanted to pick one that was pink because that was her favorite color. And she would <laughs> always, she'd always paint her nails pink, and it was like her thing. So I loved, Sick. I loved that. And yeah, like being under there was so fun yeah. because. Um, I had this one little fish that yeah. would just like follow me around <laughs> and so like when the, I was the planting the coral and... I would like I was drilling and then I'd look up and the fish was like hi sure, you're sure. doing a good job and then I'd just do more and it I was remember, yeah. so fun and uh, I think that's maybe the the best part, part of uh, our project Coral Gardeners it's yeah. when we bring people to plant their coral and we say okay now you you have to choose a name yeah. And some wait, and they they throw the answer, and and the story. It means so much. After yeah, that. and 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 sometimes the stories are crazy, like yeah. so many inspire inspiring stories we heard with Tayano and the boys during this this past two years. Yeah, yeah it brings it brings even more life to the, the coral, you know, because sure. we're, yeah. we're creating an identity for it, a, a memory yeah. with it. I think it's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's a very very good. It's idea. a good way to plant coral, very raise good. awareness, and create hope. And nature, like. It teaches us so much about ourselves yeah. and like the, the order of things here and how sure. and how to be in flow in life. It's so and there's so much wisdom yeah. in the in the reef. And you see, when you go dive in the reef, you see that every fish has a place, every coral, every, and and they know how to coexist. Yeah. So the shark. That's the, what we need yeah. to learn how to do. And that's what we why we need to learn from nature. Yeah. And I think what we try to do with coral gardeners, it's we try to create hope. Yeah. by bringing this new life to the, to the reef, to the ocean. So many people, they kind of just given up, yeah. you know? They're kind of just like, well, you know, the earth's going down anyways. And it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. Yeah. I don't know about you, but even if, it, you know, we can't save it, I want to be a part of the people who tried. Yeah, I, and like, I want to try too. They're the most inspiring people I've ever met, like you guys. Thank you. Yeah, so this is... This is the kind of people that I'm so grateful to be surrounded yeah. with. And you know, me, I'm really hopeful for the future because uh, like yesterday afternoon when, when my team and I, we go to schools and you meet the kids and they, they are aware. They yeah. already know a lot and all of them, they want to get involved and, and be a part of the project. And that's, that's really giving me hope for the future. Absolutely. So when we're not here, they'll be here bringing for sure. the legacy. So. We're off to see the kids to teach them about the coral reef. We yep. brought all our surprise. Really excited. It's going to be a fun one. We have every, all the family in the yeah. car today. This morning we picked up this beauty on the ocean floor. And now it's here, getting restoration. So we just finished with the kids and that was an amazing experience. It's so cool to see how kids, they want to learn and they want to help. It's just that they're unaware of what's actually going on in this world and that's why it's so important for us to come and bring awareness. It is so important that we let the younger generation know what's going on with our planet because they're going to be the ones that are going to be living here when we're not here and they're gonna have to deal with all of the things that we left behind because we were careless or we just 
didn't think we had the time to actually spend what we needed to spend in order to save our planet. And not only just save our planet, but save ourselves because this planet will be fine without us, you know, it'll always be here, but if it's, it has to be habitable for us humans, and that's why it's so important for us to save this reef. Let's save the reef! And you see, what I, with coral gardeners, we try to have a different uh, way of raising awareness. A lot of people, they tell people, don't do that, you should do that, and they show only the bad stuff. Yeah. But with coral gardeners, we try to, to show the beauty and the importance of the corals, of everything in the ocean, and make people want to get involved. With my team, we try to, to use as many people as we can to, to be able to, to raise awareness and to tell the story of the reef. And, and you know what? We actually do something. Yeah, because See? the ocean belongs to the people regardless of what you do, where you are in this world, society, yeah. where you are in society, how much money you make, what you, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, we're all people. Yeah. We all need the same things in order to survive. You know, we come to moments like this where we realize that this is it. This is what life's about. This is as good as it gets. This is the best days of our lives and we're living them right now. And, you know, I think of our future generations and I want them to have these moments too. I want them to experience their life to the fullest without worrying about their survival and having air to breathe and loving people fully. These are the moments. These are the moments. These are the moments.